put it in perspective. It was survival, but we didn't know it was survival. It was just like, we got to live here. No hope. No, like, Chris is it, it, beautiful because we balance each other out. Her life was at bad. She had role models. She talked about it. And, and that's, the, that's one of the beautiful things about the book. She, she blessed them and talked about them. These are my role models. The role models I had, I didn't have no one that inspired me, but the role models that I looked up to were drug users, Dale Strawberry, Lawrence Taylor, you know, Mike Tyson. They, they, you know, they, they were drug users. And these are the people that, are, you know, I looked up to. And, and I don't fault them because I don't know what they went through or what they saw to make them do it. But um, that's the environment and mentality to have. Like, you know, and we didn't have positive role models. And, and you know, I, I learned a lot. You know, you grow up a lot. You learned a lot. But Yo, listen, I'm listen, man. It's not. I mean, yo, we grew up and we heard all types of crazy situations, crazy stories of upbringings, growing up in the hood. For you to get so in depth with your story and and reveal that, like, just be an open book, is is crazy. That's brave to me. Like, you know, there's not so many people who just want to, you know, tell their life story, tell their experience the way you told it. You got so graphic, so detailed, and listen, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Because you you're giving. It, like it was cinematic. Like I can, every when you wrote what you wrote, I was there with you. Like reading the book, I'm like, damn, like this is some crazy shit. You know what I mean? Part of my language, but it's real. I mean, if, if you get from the hood, you know, it's nothing like you see on TV or in the movie. They kind of water it down a little bit. Nah, this is the real deal. This is was like it was just graphic. It was HBO graphic. Max. Like it was just, yeah. it was so deep. And I appreciate you sharing that with us. But, um, like, you know, just when, like, going into Chris, like, when Chris' point of view came in, Chris, your point of view, and, you know, it was, it was my point of view as well, it was like a total 180. It's like, you know, the, the soundtrack for that was, <laughs> like, Whitney Houston, I believe the children are our future. <laughs> like, yo, just, it was just a total 180. That's you know what I'm saying? Good. That's it, it was good. beautifully, <laughs> beautifully done. I, I love the contrast because it's like, it's like, yo, if you put this in a movie form, like, yo, you see the roughness and then you see the rainbows almost, you know what I'm saying? You see the, <laughs> the positivity, yeah. like, all right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, so, yeah, like, it, it's sort speak of like, on. It, it, it's yeah. sort of like having a break from Eddie, like, wow, we need a break. Like, it got, we need a break, you know, we're going to Chris now, like something good got to happen here, you know, and, and, and that's the beauty of it. I recognize oh, that. It's like, like, yeah. 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 It's like, I yo, mean, you're that, watching that was... something like dramatic. I'm sorry, y'all. No, go ahead. It's go like ahead. you're watching go something ahead. dramatic and then you're like, I got to watch cartoons now. Like, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right, I got to, I got to, I need something. <laughs> Something happened, God. Cause man, it's 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 real though. It's real. But Chris, yeah. speak to your point of view in the many influences that you had growing up, and like, what what was so different from like Eddie's perspective? Like, what was your perspective at that time? Like, just growing up. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, you'll see it from the beginning. It's just even the environment that. We lived in at that time, that street that we lived on was, you know, used to film The Wiz, the movie The Wiz. And so it was at a time when, you know, that block still to this day, there's mansions on that block, you know, right there where we lived at. And that was inspirational. I mean, I think the biggest inspiration and influence all my life was my great grandmother, Mama, you'll see in the book. And, you know, her alone, you know, her story alone is inspirational. Her family came and immigrated from Panama in the 20s through Ellis Island, came here with nothing. Then they were able to own brownstones in bed Brooklyn, make something of themselves at that time, which was huge, you know, black excellence to its fullest. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, and then own property in the Hamptons, you know, so for me, knowing all of that at a young age, it just gave me this enormous sense of pride 
that this was my heritage, you know? And so to have that influence on my life, and then she just showed me, you know, being a strong black woman and um, being distinguished and being a lady, um, that just was a huge influence from my formative years, you know, three years old. And then we just had like a great, wonderful godfather that always gave us history lessons, you know, uh, I said in the book is mobile history lessons around New York City, you know, and told us, this is your history, you know, that you need to know these things and you need to make good decisions. So I had that. And then I had my cousin Tina, she was a school teacher. And so she taught us, you know, how to carry ourselves and showed us all these different wonderful things, Adventureland and Long Island, you know, the Hamptons where our family lived at. So we always had that. Um, we were very blessed to have those those influences in our lives. And and they all I think the key, like you said, Brandon, the children are our future. That was always something that they continuously um, repeated. You know, you guys are the future. So you have to do well with your lives. And so that was something that just was ingrained in me from a young age. And I knew that that's, that's what I had to do. So that's the dichotomy that you're talking about. Mm. The, the difference mm -hmm. from yes. Eddie's upbringing yes. and then the totally different in, upbringing on our side. So we had those influences that kept me on the right track. Did, did Mrs. Toy have anything to do with you writing your goals? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, that was my fifth grade teacher. Yeah, she she was no joke. Her name was Mrs. Toy, but you can't play with her. Like you can't mess with her. Yeah, I mean, she told us she didn't play. Like she had the very stern, mean face. Like don't mess around. Like you you guys have to make sure you're on the straight and narrow. You're the elite, so you need to act like it. You know, and so that another layer of positivity ingrained in me, you know, so it just kept the layers of positivity just kept piling up and piling up over the years to, to keep me motivated to stay on that track. 